Good morning, dear friends, and a very warm welcome to a 40-day journey through Lent with me, Father Joseph Royan, a Redemptress. This is going to be a time of spiritual renewal and transformation. 40 Days Journey Through Lent, Day 5 Yesterday, we reflected on the power of fasting and how fasting helps us to overcome sinful passions. Today, I want to reflect with you and how we can build fasting into our daily lives. First, start with the basics. The first step in fasting is obeying the law of the church. Fasting on Ash Wednesday and Good Friday, abstaining from meat on Fridays, and observing the Eucharistic fast, which is not eating or drinking at least one hour before Holy Communion. So let's start with the basics and obey the law of the church. Second, add more. As Christians, we should never be satisfied with the bare minimum. You could slowly increase the days of fasting apart from those mandated by the church. Once you have begun to follow the law of the church, build on that foundation to include fasting in other ways. For example, there was this post on social media attributed to Pope Francis which suggests to fast the season of Lent from hurting words and say kind words. Fast this Lent from sadness and be filled with gratitude. Fast from anger and be filled with patience. Fast from pessimism and be filled with hope. Fast from worries and this Lent learn to have trust in God. Fast from complaints, contemplate simplicity. Fast from pressures and be prayerful. Fast from bitterness and fill your hearts this Lent with joy. Fast from selfishness and be compassionate. Fast from grudges and be reconciled. Fast from words and the slant. Spend some time in silence and listening to God's word. In other words, during Lent, make efforts to fast from sin. Bodily fasting is meaningless unless it is joined with a spiritual fast from sin. Third, pray. Fasting is not simply a matter of willpower. Grace is absolutely necessary. Well, fasting energizes prayer. Prayer energizes fasting. Both are weak without the other. As you fast to conquer your passions, pray constantly for the grace of God to flood your soul. Beg for the virtues in which you need to mature and ask for strength in the spiritual warfare. Lastly, beware of pride. With any kind of self-discipline, penance or fasting, comes a temptation to pride. We face the danger of believing that we are superior to others because we fast, or thinking that fasting is an end in itself. But fasting itself is never the goal. Nor does it make us perfect or more spiritual than others. Rather, fasting is an aid, a training tool in our ascent towards perfection, which is found in a pure, self-giving love of God 
and neighbor. There's no better way to begin the season of Lent than through the practice of fasting and prayer. For without it, our spiritual life will always be mediocre. Strive to make your spiritual life powerful this Lent through prayer and fasting. Amen. God bless you.